multitasking. I was in one room and someone vacuuming in the other. And I heard her and the vacuum behind me, but she wasn't really there. She was in the other room, LOL. Was that her aura? I thought maybe it was her aura field stretching to the other room. Yeah, you know, my sense actually is that you may have experienced kind of like a, a time warp. <laughs> And it could be, yes, her auric field was stretching into the other room. Um, but, yeah, when something happens and then next thing you know, you look behind you and it's it's like a different experience, it could be a time warp, yes. Um, regarding your thought of her auric field stretching into the other, or other room, um, put it this way. You might have met people where their personalities are, like, bigger than life, right? And I've, I've literally had students come into my programs and they walk into the room. And as soon as they walk in the room, people are looking at them and they're not even saying anything, right? Literally, they, they intentionally spread their energy out so that it fills the entire room. But the funny thing about all that is like all these sensitive people, right? Because students that come into this kind of program, they're super sensitive already, right? And here's someone's like blasting their energy out. <laughs> and, you know, eventually we, we teach people like bring your aura in closer around you. All right, bring your aura in closer around you. And I've had to tell students, I'm like, your energy is too spread out. It's too much. And there's a lot of highly sensitive people here. And I know you want to bring happiness and joy, but not everyone wants that. And if your energy is in everyone else's space, it doesn't make for as great of an experience as you think it would, right? Because they're literally spreading their aura out. It's like, let me spread joy and love and peace. Well, guess what? It's your definition of, of joy, love, peace, not that person's, right? And one of the things I teach is it's either your energy, it's not your energy, right? So when other people's energies get in your space, okay, then people are going to look at you like, you know, it's, um, just another funny story, because I used to teach in person. I, everything I teach now is online, but like one person would be sitting, right? And it's it'd be this person, either the aura is really spread out, or maybe they have a lot of entities and beings around them. <laughs> and then, so like there'd be like a row of 10 chairs, right? Um, that person is sitting there. Literally, no one wants to sit next to that person. And it's not because that person wasn't a nice person or nothing like that, right? It's literally all about the energy of it all. Um, so yeah, um, actually, I don't know if that answers your, your question, but <laughs> if, if you did get the sense it was her auric field stretching into the other room, you could definitely check in on that. That's definitely a possibility.